What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Poopa Plow playing something, well, very different, and nobody knows I'm making this video, which is kind of weird that I, I haven't talked about this at all. But anyway, welcome to Railroads Online single player. I'm in here by myself. Technically, I am online, but I am in single player. And basically, I have been severely slacking making farming simulator content. Obviously, you guys know that if you watch my YouTube at all. And so I figured, hey, I'm been really into this game and I wanted to make a video and we'll see where this goes. I might make more videos in the future. Might do just, I don't know. We will see. But this is Railroads Online. This is the map, the save that I have been streaming. If you guys didn't know, I have been streaming this game. I've streamed it uh, twice now. Twitch.tv slash Poomplow. Actually, the, uh, the first and probably the second time I streamed is also on the second channel. If you guys are interested, links in the, the description below for that. So, if you guys are interested in this game at all, um, this game is great, by the way. Just want to throw that out here. Check my cars real fast. I'm going to go grab just a load of wood real fast with these uh, four cars. And I say real fast. It's probably going to it's gonna take a minute. It's going to take a minute. So basically, I just want to show you guys the game. If you haven't seen it, apparently it came out on October 1st. And I didn't, uh, I didn't actually know about it until fairly recently. Somebody in Twitch chat was like, hey, have you seen this game? And I'm like, no, I haven't. I don't know anything about it. And I checked it out, and I have been hooked ever since. Of course, who didn't play trains as a kid? You know, everybody did. Everybody played trains as a kid, and uh, it just kind of strikes like that nerve for me. Not a nerve. It's a good thing. Uh, but it kind of hits that for me where it's like kind of fun playing trains as a kid, and it's like you kind of get to play them as an adult now through a video game. Like, it's... It's kind of fun, you know? So that's what I'm doing right now. I just wanted to show you guys this game. It is so much fun. I have about 30 hours in uh, as of right now. And let's see. This video is probably going to come out on Friday. I'm streaming it tonight. 7 p.m. Central. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I have been, for those of you that are wondering where the farm sim content has been, I have been kind of taking a break from farm sim a little bit. I'm still streaming it uh, Saturday night at 7. But... I've been scaling back the farm sim just in general uh, in my life because, well, with 22 coming out, I know I'm going to be playing a ton of 22 when it launches. So I figure, you know, scale back just a little bit and uh, play some uh, some other games. So that is what I have been doing. Well, first things first here, guys, I was actually not prepared at all for this video, which is fine. I, uh, I wasn't really planning on making this, and today I was just kind of thinking, I'm like, you know what? I should just jump in. Play the game, go for a little run, and uh, record it. So our train needs water. Our train needs water. Right, we've got water back there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip some switches here. Actually, you know what? We have water down yonder. We'll be okay. We had 100 water. We should be okay to go go to the lumber, uh, lumber yard. Lumber camp, I think it's actually called. Uh, we should be okay to go to go there. Okay, so let's open the firebox up here. We'll chuck some wood in there. Close that back up. Uh, this game is yeah. See that didn't work. This game is early access, and you can you can tell. You can definitely tell. It is available on Steam. It's like thirty five bucks. It's a ton of fun. You have a train whistle. Just want to throw that out there. Okay. You actually have to watch like your, your boiler pressure, which our boiler pressure was down because this train was sitting there and got cold, basically. But we have fire in the box now. We're doing okay. We're, we're building our pressure back up and everything, so we're, we're going to be okay here in a minute. But right now, our boiler pressure should be 120. Uh, anything over 100 seems to be okay in uh, the little engine that could here. Um, but we are slowly... Yeah, we're getting, we're getting our temperature. Actually, our temperature is still going down, so we'll We'll close the regulator for a minute here. Let our fire come up. Let our little temperature come back up. See our water temps moving up, which of course will bring our boiler pressure up. I probably should have just thrown some fire in the box, some some wood in there, and just kind of waited. But anyway, so if you guys haven't seen this game, it is a very interesting game, that's for sure. All right, we're good though. We're good to go now. We have boiler pressure. So you literally start with nothing. Well, you start with just like a train, one car, and 
like the little bit of starting track where we were at where all the cars are sitting right now that's it there's no track there's no clearings there's nothing else it's kind of insane to be honest it's kind of insane you have a map which i'll show you guys here in a second and you just have to figure out how to go from point a to point b to point b c d all of them right you have to figure that out yourself and it's kind of interesting um kind of kind of interesting the way it all shakes out you just kind of have to figure out the best path so we're going to be passing a sawmill here momentarily which I've, there's a switch coming up in the track and i don't know which way the switch is that so i need to kind of check that here in a second that's why i slowed down a little bit plus i'm uh, running a little low in water this little train holds 500 and our switch is the wrong way we will have to stop here go ahead and turn off the regular hit some brake get slowed down here a little bit because we will have to jump out and flip the switch we do have to control all the switches ourselves which is cool which this game is multiplayer like i said it's called railroads online after all you can have 64 people on a server and you basically every time you start this game you're technically hosting a server so technically right now i am hosting a server even though i am on here by myself um i set my max players to one which would be me so nobody can join me right now but we have been having a ton of fun in this game uh, in multiplayer land we've been playing a bunch of it like off stream as well and so i figured you know what i want to play this game a lot so I figured I would record this video for you guys and we'll see where it goes. I might record a lot more. I might bring the guys in as we run some operations at night because that's what we've been doing here lately. This is the sawmill on our right. You can see we have a little spur track and terminology and stuff for railroads. I don't 100% know all my terms. Okay, just saying. Switch is set here, so we are good to, uh, to go. This track does need to be rebuilt, obviously, as you can tell by the, the roller coaster uh, nature of it. Uh, some of my tracks are not great. Uh, especially the first night we played this game, which those videos came out yesterday on the second channel. And uh, we might have sent this little little train here, Betsy. Uh, we sent it to space at least once or twice because we didn't realize our track was too low to the ground and we're hitting like little rocks and stuff. And it did not like that. So any of these clearings that you guys see, we did have to cut down all the trees and any of the landscaping, the, the gravel, the bridges, everything. It's way cool. Uh, I will do some uh, rail building on the stream on friday night and probably coming up on monday because we've been running operations here like i said at night uh during the night it really takes two people to run a train efficiently uh, that's actually why i grabbed the only the little four car train the other two sets of cars that we have are 10 cars a piece and that is a lot to run by yourself because uh filling filling up and unloading and stuff is kind of a lot to do by yourself with the big trains not that it's impossible, but it's just a lot to do. So there is that. Um, selling in this game is a little bugged right now. So like I have to be involved in selling everything, which is kind of weird, but it works. And uh, yeah, this game definitely has some issues. Don't get me wrong, but we have been having so much fun playing this game. Uh, like I said, those two streams that we did on this game and then just, just hanging out with the boys and running some trains. It's been so much fun. As soon as I'm done recording this video, I'm actually going to jump in and hopefully the guys will uh, come run trains with me. I think there's at least a couple of the guys in uh, in the TeamSpeak community that want to run. So, Trent's always down. Trent's always down, so it's been a lot of fun. All right, so we are over here at, like, the log camp, which I will show you guys the map here momentarily. But we've got three tracks, and we really only use the two, center and left. But for... Actually, no. I do want to go to the center one. Yeah, center's where the water is. I was thinking I needed to go to the left, or to the right one. The right one is firewood, which I'm good on firewood. There is no coal as far as like running your engines. You run on firewood, which is kind of kind of a thing. But that's oh here. I want to show you guys the map really fast. So we're at the log camp. Sawmill is where we were at before. And then the freight depot is where you kind of start. And that's where I'm going to build eventually like a pretty good sized train yard. That's where I want all of my cars to be stored because that's kind of central. All my cars, all my trains will be stored at the freight depot. And then you kind of go out from there. And uh, it should be pretty cool. So. That's the plan eventually, but for right now, we need to climb this hill. This is a pretty street, pretty steep for a train here. I'm not going to lie. We've had some issues coming back down these hills. Um, mostly not paying attention and, like, having to, we had two trains coming down. But, like, switches were set for one train and not the other train. 
we had to stop here and that, that definitely caused uh it caused an issue it was a it was a couple car derailment i'm not gonna lie so here at the log camp this is where we get basically our logs and uh some other some other products as well that's actually what we're going for today um you do have to haul logs into like a uh, firewood depot type thing over here that's what this building is on the right here so we actually kind of cheated the system here if we if we drop logs here, i'm gonna show you guys actually because it's funny we totally cheated the system for making our firewood for our trains uh totally cheating but okay need to back up just a smidge here at the old water tower some would say the train watering hole you know and we can climb up here and of course we can open that we can bring this down get okay, down come on. the controls are a little wonky in this game i'm not even gonna lie this game definitely has some uh, some issues but this game is so much fun i don't know why i think it's because it, you know like i said before it's it's everybody played trains as a kid and it just kind of hits that all right our water is filling we're 350 and 400 there we go we are full uh there are bigger trains there's more cars there's all the different locations like i said around the map it's pretty cool okay so let's pull let's see here i don't like the camera resets down below every time like that by the way i actually don't like that at all but that's okay all right let's pull up here just a little bit i want to show you guys our little cheat with the log thing um actually kind of kind of kind of clever i'm not gonna lie so there's that um yeah so we put the firewood thing here everything else was built okay the tracks were not built actually this track was i replaced it the, the firewood thing here was not built everything else here is placed by the game right okay so we don't have to do that so this is how you would load a train with say just a log if you had the log cars which i don't have i have the other cars but in this case it'll just drop and go right into our firewood and so we can just make like endless amounts of firewood just by standing here and clicking. Normally, I would assume you would have these when we do have one back in the freight depot where we started. We have to haul logs there. But in this case, we can just sit here and do that. And then it makes us um, firewood for our trains because that's how they're powered. Anyway, let's get on to loading this train with some with some material here, guys. All right. So we're, we got to go around this little loop track back here in the woods. And we'll come out right over there on our left. But we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go around the track first, you know. And probably don't want to go super fast. This is kind of tight back here. This is going to get reworked eventually. This is just kind of it works for now, you know. If nothing else, I want to cut down a lot more trees just to kind of clear clear up a lot of stuff, you know. It just would be kind of nice to uh, do that. So at some point, you know, the track's not completely this. this circle the turns aren't aren't the best but that's okay this track works just don't go you know blazing through here at 90 miles an hour or anything and you're fine uh, i would just like to make it better plus maybe have a little train yard up here nothing too crazy because like i said i want all of my train cars personally and all my trains to be stored at the freight depot because that's where you spawn so say i'm out running operations say i'm all the way up here and somebody spawns well there's another train sitting back at the freight depot they can just jump in and go which has happened to us in multiplayer quite a few times. I'll be in here playing, or me or a couple of the guys will play, and another guy will jump in and hey, grab that train, let's go. We'll help you out, you know. Which is kind of kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we're gonna be grabbing this uh, this wood here. As you can see, there's 32 or 32 at each crane. So we want to pull up so that the front crane can load the front car because we can uh, click a lot faster than these will load. Of course, I've actually not done these yet. I believe you know you just click right there and it magically grabs one out of that infinite pile of 32 which it recharges pretty fast too so i'm gonna go ahead and get this train loaded up and we'll come back with our journey down the hill and back to the freight depot all righty we are just down from the lumber camp now coming back down to our switches because i want to go ahead and get them set like before i take off i don't really feel like stopping at the bottom of the hill to throw the switch uh, which is where multiple people come in handy you can have kind of one guy be your your conductor, your you know train driver, and your other guy be like your switch man and load up and all that good stuff. But that is fine for now. As you guys can see, there's definitely some uh, grade here. So coming back out of here is kind of interesting. This outside left line is actually not as bad. I would say the center line is probably the worst one, and then that right line over there basically is for if you need firewood. 
I just felt like putting it in there. Plus, if we had two trains up here, you can kind of stack one off to the side if another one just needs to loop back or whatever. So we're all loaded up, guys, all four of our cars. We are good to go. We will give a little uh, little toot toot there, and we'll throw our reverser to forward. And I'm not applying power right now. You can see our regulator is set to zero, which means we are not using any like steam to actually propel ourselves. I'm going to be riding the brake down this hill because I do not want to go too fast. I do not want to want to derail here. I can go a lot faster than I'm going now, but I definitely do not want to have any issues uh, going down the hill here. So there is that. Okay. We'll just roll along. Now, at some point, we will use this wood or even the logs or the, the sawmill product and stuff. You use them at other places for different things. I'm not really sure. I'm still very much a noob at this game. I do not know. Um, basically, I know what the sawmill looks like. I know what the uh, log camp looks like, and I know what the freight depot looks like. Beyond that, we haven't been anywhere on this game yet, but we will hopefully soon uh, adventure out into the to the wild blue yonder and do some do some uh, explore it, and then figure out what we need at the different places. Because I know if we haul logs to the sawmill. We make them into basically like eight by eights and then like planks of wood, right? So like say two by twelves or something is what they really look like to me. I know we end up we'll, we'll end up hauling those to another place for another reason. Right now we are currently selling or taking everything to the freight depot to sell it. So that's actually where we're going to be heading off to right now is the freight depot. And of course our switches are already set because we just came through here and like I said before, nobody else is on here right now with me. It is just me. So, we should be pretty good just to hammer down and run on back to the freight depot. And like I was saying before, I know my track here, especially right here. This needs to get changed. I do not like this. Um, if you watch back or if you were there the first night we streamed this map, our tracks were horrendous because we just laid them straight on the ground. And then the fall, that was a Friday. The, that was a week ago. The following Sunday night, I literally sat here and played for like five hours and destroyed every piece of rail that we had and built it all like it is right now we haven't really touched anything since outside of the freight depot that got changed a little bit since then but beyond that nothing else got changed and uh or has gotten changed yet but it, it'll all get changed eventually probably or most of it will there's some parts that i like but for the most part a lot of it's gonna get changed okay well, i don't want to go super fast down this hill here I don't like going super fast down a hill and then right into a turn. So like that piece of rail there, probably we need to do something with this too. But I mean, it works. Don't get me wrong. It's just a little roller coaster -y through there. And of course, trains aren't really, uh, yeah, they don't really do that very much. So flat is definitely like where it's at. There's definitely some like six and 7% grades that we have so far. In fact, I think that back there might be a six or probably a seven. Uh, percent grade and that's like way too much for a train obviously so but it's really cool because uh we're gonna be working here soon guys on you know putting some sidings in so that we can run you know trains each way on the same line we were talking about doing like two two line two main lines but i rather have like sidings and stuff because that's a little more realistic uh, i'm sure in some places yeah there's two main line two main lines easy for me to say i'm getting choked up on my words guys but uh, I think it'd be cool, like, right back there if we had a siding that would hold, you know, a 30 or a 40 car train, let's say. And so then we know, like, hey, if we're coming into the freight depot, we need to jump off to the siding. Or, or if there's no other trains, then we don't worry about it, you know, kind of thing. We definitely would communicate. Okay, I need fire in my box. I just realized I'm running out of heat, guys. I'm running out of boiler pressure because I didn't put any fire or any wood in the box. Boiler pressure's under 100, which is not good. Bad train operator, that'd be me. <laughs> That's why we weren't going very fast. We're losing our pressure here, like, severely in our boiler. But we're going to try to keep uh, crawling along here. We're going to see if this will work. Our, our temperature didn't get too low, too far below 100. So as soon as that temperature hits 100 again, our boiler pressure will go up. That's basically what it is. You really don't go through as much firewood as you might think in old Betsy here. I know the first night we played it, we were constantly putting firewood in. It's like, you don't really need as much. I should have just thrown some in back at the lumber camp there, but we are good. Pressure's all the way down to 40, but we're building pressure now. That's why the train sounds a little more alive, you know? 
Definitely love the steam whistle, by the way. It's good. Have a bell as well. The whole thing. This game is very, very loud. I have turned my sounds down a considerable amount, but they are still <laughs> can be a little loud at times. Without our regulator down, that usually helps a lot. Just uh, throwing that one out there, but we are good. We are good. All right, so you can see our water pressure's back up. Our water temperature's up to 110. Boiler pressure's coming back up. That goes to 120, I think it is, so we'll be good. But we are back at the freight depot. And before I left, I was going to back in and get water, of course, but I, I flipped my switch the right way before I left there. So basically think of the far left line here as like your spawning line. Really, we're only on there right now for when we park trains or go get new cars. Uh, eventually, this is not going to be a in-service line per se. It'll only be for getting new cars. The freight depot is up here on the right. It's the red building, of course. We have another firewood uh, station here in case we need... I guess the firewood would probably need to actually run some logs down here very soon because it's uh it's like out of firewood so we'll have to run some logs down here probably uh when i go play with the guys here in a little bit I'm not gonna lie after recording this video i'm gonna like i said jump on and hopefully uh go run some uh, trains with the boys but eventually guys and if you've watched videos of this you've probably seen other people do this it's a great idea put a huge sh what they call a shunting yard or, or a train yard i'm gonna i'm gonna call it a train yard uh, got to be putting a huge yard in here because right now, if we want to park trains, we got to back them in over there, which is fine. But that's where the new trains, uh, that's where the new, new trains spawn and everything. So we don't really want to do that per se, you know, I'd rather not be using that for storage over there and have storage say over here and possibly over here too. So right now we are going to sell our wood that we have brought down here and you just like walk next to it and like click and drag down. And it magically, I swear, it'll ma magically unload. And you guys can see we're making uh, $10 for each one. And there's six per car. So it's not, not bad, honestly. It's not bad money. It's not great money. Money is definitely a grind in this game. Uh, you guys can see I do have over $8,000 in this game, which is good. Because we've been grinding a lot since uh, this past Monday where I was basically broke and we bought that second train over there it's the same same engine we just bought a second one uh last monday but we have been grinding a lot to try to make some money so that we can buy more engines and stuff and speaking of engines and stuff let's go look at the shop here just really fast you have a car that's just like a regular um that one hauls logs then this one hauls like the process wood and some other stuff and some of these cars haul multiple things which is kind of cool and you got tanker and box car and a little hand hand do dead you know it's a whole thing hand cart that's the train we have now there's a slightly bigger one and then there's i mean there's some good size engines in here now apparently this one currently uh is broken it has no brakes which it looks way cool so someday we'll have that and possibly that one too well i've heard this one doesn't have any pulling power so but it's one of those things we just need to try it out and that's it for ourselves you know so basically guys um let me know what you guys think of this game in general and uh, as far as like me playing it and making some let's plays for you guys, because I have a ton of fun with this game. And uh, I just want to share that fun with you guys. Because uh, Farm Sim, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of on the back burner right now for me personally. I am still streaming it on Saturdays, but I am in Christmas light mode now. So I'm not uh, streaming nearly as much right now uh, because, you know, we're in Christmas light mode. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a comment down below, and I'll address it in the next video. I appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Easy for me to say. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, God toodles.